A condom catheter, also known as an external urinary catheter or urinary sheath, consists of a flexible sheath that fits over the penis, much like a condom, and is connected to tubing that lets urine flow into a drainage bag. This provides a safe and non-invasive common way to manage urinary incontinence or involuntary loss of urine in biological males. Condom catheters should be changed on a daily basis. Now, before we talk about how to apply or remove a condom catheter, here are some general considerations. First, ask a nurse to tell you what catheter size to use. That's important because if it's too small, it may compress or traumatize the urethra, restricting the flow of urine or blood. And if it's too large, it could leak or slip off. So, you'll want to clip the hair at the base of the penis. Or, putting on a hair guard before applying the catheter will prevent hairs from getting into the catheter. You also need to check the type of the condom catheter used. Some of them are held in place by a self-adhesive coating on their inside, while others need an external strap of elastic tape. Remember to close the room's door and bedside curtain, and respect the client's privacy. Before beginning the procedure, unclip the tubing from the bedsheet, if there is one, from the bed linens, or from the client's leg. Once you're finished replacing the condom catheter, secure the tubing again and make sure that it doesn't have any kinks and that the condom is not twisted, since that will obstruct urine flow. You also need to ensure that the drainage bag is placed below the level of the bladder to prevent the urine from flowing back into the bladder. Okay, so now let's say you're removing a condom catheter and reapplying a new one. First, cover the overbed table with paper towels. Then, fill the wash basin with water and check that the temperature is comfortably warm. Place the basin together with soap, towels, and washcloths on the overbed table. Ensure that the wheels on the bed are locked, and raise the bed to a comfortable working height. Then, lower the side railings on the working side of the bed. Next, put your gloves on. Slide a waterproof bed pad under the client's buttocks to protect the bed linens and cover the client with the bath blanket, exposing only the genital area. Ask them to spread their legs and bend their knees if they can. If not, help them to do so, as much as possible. Next, to remove the condom catheter, pull the tape off if there is any, and gently roll the condom down the penile shaft. Disconnect the tubing from the condom sheath, cap the tube, and discard the whole system. Then, wash the penis thoroughly with warm water and soap and dry it with a towel to prevent skin breakdown. Now remove your gloves, practice hand hygiene, and put on clean ones. When replacing a condom catheter, first hold the penis tightly along its shaft with your non-dominant hand. Then, smoothly roll the condom sheath onto the penis using your dominant hand. Remember to allow a distance of 2.5 to 5 centimeters, or about 1 to 2 inches, between the tip of the gland's penis and the end of the condom catheter. Next, to secure the condom, if it's self-adhesive, simply apply gentle pressure on the penile shaft for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. If not, apply an elastic tape strip in a spiral rather than a circular manner. This allows the tape to expand, preventing it from compromising blood flow to the penis. If they have a foreskin, return it to its normal position. Connect the end of the catheter to the drainage tubing. At this point, you can remove the waterproof bed pad and the bath blanket and help the client go back in a comfortable position. Finally, return the side rails to the raised position and lower the bed to the proper height. After removing or applying a condom catheter, you should notify a nurse immediately if you notice areas of redness, swelling, or skin irritation on the penis, as well as any changes in the color, clarity, or odor of the urine, as well as the presence of blood or particles in the urine. Also report if the client complains of pain, burning, or irritation during urination that persists after the procedure. Make sure to document these alongside the date and time, and the amount of urine present in the drainage bag. All right, as a quick recap. Condom catheters are commonly used for incontinent males and should be changed daily. To remove them, remove the tape if there is any, and roll the sheath off the penis. Wash and dry the penis and remember to assess the condition of the skin. Then, roll the new condom sheath onto the penis and secure it accordingly. After the procedure, remember to report any unusual signs or symptoms to the nurse and document the details.